Hey folks, in this video I'm going to show you how you can spin up a three node private network in Beisu very quickly using a Docker image. The image has been kindly provided by the friendly team at Pegasus Engineering. The link you want to go to is github.com Pegasus Engineering Beisu Quick Start. And what we'll do is we'll copy this link, so hit the green button here, let's go copy. And we're going to do a git clone, but before we do, let's take a look at the documentation here where if you, this quick start is not supported on Windows. So you do need Mac OS or Linux. You do need Docker as a prerequisite. And please note, if you are running on a Mac OS, you've got to make sure that you've got at least four gigs of memory, otherwise you'll run into problems. We're going to run this quick start without privacy first of all. And here is a link to the actual documentation that you want to read and also bookmark as well. So let's go ahead and run this command. I'm going to go git clone, paste the link here, hit enter, and this is going to bring down all the files that I need. Let me cd into this directory here, list out the files, and you can see I've got this run script. This script, let's execute this. Uh, we'll go ahead and spin up everything that I need for this three node network and it will take a couple of minutes so let me fast forward the video I'll catch you soon okay so now we have the image up and running, you can see we've got a whole bunch of endpoints listed here. We've got the JSON RPC endpoint, WebSocket, along with GraphQL and a few others down below. Let's go ahead and test the JSON RPC HTTP endpoint by running a, a command. We're going to test the number of pairs in our network. To do this, let's go back to our documentation website. Let's go and check out the API methods and I'm going to run net pair count. So I can copy this command here, like so, and let's go ahead and open up a new tab. Let's go ahead and paste this in like so. 1.127.0.0.1 is the same as localhost, so I can either use that or type in localhost, it shouldn't matter. Hit enter, and you can see I get a result of three. So there are three pairs in this network. So that is great, we know that our endpoint is up and running. Let's go and check out the other ones. We've got the GraphQL. Uh, GraphQL is a query language for APIs and also a runtime for running those queries with your existing data set. We've got the Web Block Explorer address. I'll use this one. Let's copy this and paste this into a browser here. And what you'll see is that we do indeed have three pairs. Uh, the Current block height is 234, now it's 238, so this updates in real time as well. This will tick over fairly shortly to 246, you can see. If I actually click on it, I can dive down deeper into the transaction details. Next I've got Prometheus, which is an open source monitoring uh, tool. I can paste this in, and this is what Prometheus looks like. I've also got a link to Grafana here which is an open source analytics and monitoring solution. Paste this in. Grafana is up and running. And I've also got the, uh, the Kibana log address here, which again, let's see what this looks like. Uh, Kibana is also another dashboard for visualizing data as well. So we've got the three node private network up and running successfully. We'll go ahead and check out how we can send transactions very shortly as well. 